All right, just a little update here with the convertible soft motor. Uh, I just received the gearing, the metal gearing that we're gonna be replacing on the top motor over here, like this one over here. Uh, I got the part from eBay. It's pretty pricey, so uh, it cost me about 80 bucks. Damn. So here's the piece, actually, it came on the mail today. So pretty much once I swap these parts in today, uh, I don't think I'm gonna have any issues anymore of, you know, worry about like this gear getting break or whatnot because this is a metal piece and hopefully I won't have any issues anymore. All right, to replace or upgrade the convertible soft top motor, uh, this is actually the top motor that actually is triggered the latch, you know, for the hood to open. Uh, it is very easy process, it's, it's plug and play, you know. You're just gonna grab your, uh, what is this? A uh, Tord big socket, this is a T10, right? Uh, you're just gonna unbolt the bolts. There's six of them that is around it. All right, once you take those out, uh, you should be able to take out your broken uh, plastic um, gear, which is, well, which was this one. Uh, this is the one that I'm upgrading right now. So you just after that, you're just gonna you know put this back in and then uh, make sure that everything aligns, right? Put the gear and whatnot. Make sure that everything sits correctly, and then uh, add some grease on top. After that, you should be able to put this back in and then try that on the car. All right, so pretty much over here, I put the gear back into the motor. Um, I added some grease and also I tightened the bolt using the T10 socket. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward process, so you can't really miss this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put this in the car and uh, let's see how it goes. So here's our car. Lock this. Damn, I got so many tools laying around. All right, so pretty much here we have our uh, top motor latch system for the convertible top. The motor is just held up by two 10 millimeter bolts. That is one over here and also the other one over here. Um, and then after that, you just gotta make sure that this links gotta linked up well with the, with the motor and then uh, that's pretty much it. All right, so pretty much here, we put everything back in. The motor is back into the original place. We connected the power connector on. Um, that's pretty much it. All right, so we're gonna test it out now. I'm gonna actually open the trunk so I can you know, put the switch down in the back. Switch is good. Let's just turn the cars over. All right, so let's see if it's work. Okay, it does spin okay, I think, but there is a little problem, I believe. I'm not really sure. It's locked somewhere, I believe. And it's not going anymore. Hmm, it's weird. All right, so just a little update here. What is going on with the convertible top? So I got it to work. It's going down, up and down. But it's very, it's very slow though. So this is actually coming down. I think that the motor is about to fail. I'm not really sure. So to bring that out is, there you go. It has to go by step. Maybe the fluid is, is not really going. I don't know. I'm just gonna put everything back in and probably gonna sort it out once it's get a little warmer out. I don't know, maybe the motor is about to go. You know, man, this thing is really old, so. Well, here we go, we fixed the top. Well, we fixed part of it, so. I will definitely keep you guys updated. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and replace the motor. So pretty much here, uh, the convertible top is open. I think part of the hydraulic fluid is kind of low 
or something because it is opening but it's opening very slow or another thing it could be is the motor it could be started to go bad so all right so pretty much here i fixed the convertible top uh it seems like the more i press it down up and down uh the better it works so i don't know it's because the car has been sitting for so long you know or it because the motor is about to go so check this guy all the lights are gone right it's nice let's bring this down now the motor is running but it's like i don't know it's taking so long for this to open i don't know why maybe the hydraulic fluid is kind of old or maybe because the weather is cold um i don't know but look check this out it's opening good right this motor is working 100 percent but actually the motor when it's okay there you go so it kind of slack on power though look at that now it's kind of slow now it's opening very slow and let's go all the way to the back and actually sink down here and i guess we could just align it a little bit here because it doesn't latch well And then we finish. And then to put it back, Sam is kind of slacking on power. Uh, there it just died. No, it didn't. It's still working. I think it's again. I think it's just the hydraulic fluid that is not going over the lines yet. But uh, there you go. Maybe it needs to be pumped. It's taking really long to open. We got it down, and from here we just gotta align it, make sure that it locks. It's gonna go this way. All right, so the top is fully down now. Like I said, I don't know why it's taking so long to come down. There's a sensor in here. I think this is a sensor. I'm not really sure. But I am looking forward to actually take everything out once the weather is a little warmer because it's about 40 degrees now. Maybe that could be too, you know, like, I don't know, the lines are frozen, could be. So I am actually looking forward to replace whatever it needs because look at that, convertible top light. This thing with the top down looks so good.